So this used to be our vegetable fields. Uh, this is what we saw when we, when we came back here on Monday. So this is where the river, the river came through after it jumped its bank. It's receded from, from where it used to be, uh, from where it used to be flowing on, on Monday, the day after it's gone down. But the main current of the river is still flowing through, uh, through our vegetable field, as you can see over there. So that's where we used to have potatoes and tomatoes, eggplant peppers, kale, Brussels sprouts, winter squash. Is, is where that river is flowing through now. So, I mean, looking at this river, I mean, for those people who are seeing this for the first time, can you explain about, like, was the tree line, where was the river? The river used to be about 100 yards farther back from where it is now. So it was behind, it was on the other side of that line of trees over there. And it was, maybe three or four feet lower than it is now over there too and it's now permanently changed course after jumping the bank it was when we, when it jumped we could hear the the boulders rumbling underneath as the water was pushing them along and it just it just cascaded all these boulders and river stones through our land Open the windows. That'd be awesome. Just yesterday, I went swimming in this river, and I had to work hard to find a spot deep enough in to get my thighs wet. There were zucchinis right there, lots of them, and garlic. This was a farm, an entire farm. It's gone. So what you're looking at now is what's, what's left of our vegetable fields. Uh, there are the fields back there were where our, our crops were just a few days ago. And um, what do you, um, what kind of uh, support do you think you guys are gonna need and or are you getting already? Well, I've been telling people, this is a funny thing to say, but I've been telling people this is the best uh, place to lose your farm. Uh, we have an incredible, incredible community here and we feel really cared for and, and loved and supported. And right now we're just trying to compile all the support offers that we have um, and make use of them. We're going to continue farming thanks to all the support and encouraging words we've had so far. Um, we don't know how or where. We're hoping to stay in the area. Um, so we're looking for land to, to use to farm. And, um, and that's what we're doing right now. And the, uh, I guess what we need is people to stay um, on top of our website is where my older brother and Ryan are keeping everyone posted on how they can help. Um, and we really, really appreciate everything that people have done already. It's um, the amount we've cried from the support we've gotten from people is probably the same to crying about our loss. It's just an amazingly beautiful thing how everyone stepped in and we do want to say thank you to everyone. And our aspiration as we move forward is to, to take the support that we're getting, to take the support that's coming into us and to channel that into in, into some way to give back to the community. And so as we move forward, it's, it's really important for us that we stay in this community as, as we keep growing vegetables. And it's important for us that as we take the support and move forward, we're, we're able to, to develop something that can, that can even more fully be able to give back to the community, that can, that can feed this community. Um. I really don't know how, I mean, Ryan and I talk all day about the amount of gratitude we have for this county, this region, Vermont, this community, this town, and everyone we know. And everyone that we know all over the country actually has been amazing. So we don't know how to express that gratitude right now, but um, 
we're hoping to, to share that through our work over the years and, yeah. and we're just really grateful for everyone and, and please keep it coming because it's going to be it's going to be a long, long road to recovery when something like this happens. Um, this farm is gone and we're going to restart and it's not, I know it's immediate right now, um, but we're going to be recovering from this for a long time.